What's up guys, I'm coming at you today with a quick tutorial, another one dealing with Gmail. I want to look at creating uh, content groups to make sending emails quicker and easier to a large group of people, as well as going over the proper etiquette when doing so, so everyone can see every other content call or contact on that email. So when we are in here, I'm in my inbox right now, I'm going to jump over to my contact list. You're going to click on this little menu up here in the top right and you're going to find contacts and you're going to click on it. For the speed of making this video quicker, I did make three test contacts prior to this to speed up the process. The first thing you're going to want to do, I did make a test group already, but if you do not have a group, you would click new group and name it appropriately for what you want the group of contacts to be. There are two ways to enter your, your contacts into these groups. If you click on a group itself, you go in here and search your contacts you want to add, or you can simply go to my contacts, click on the content, contacts you want to add, click this little drop down, and check the test group contact list and apply. You can also remove contacts the same way to easily add or remove contacts. And if you click on test group, you now see that these three contacts are in that group. If you are on the newer version of contacts, I will switch here briefly to the new preview contacts. It is similar, but the difference between the two is instead of being called groups, it is called labels. As you can see, my label is test group and it currently has the three contacts I added. I am going to switch back to the older version for the sake of this tutorial. Now once we have these in there, if we click here and go back to Gmail, we will hop back over here and create a new email to see how you get these in here. We are going to click compose to compose a new email and we are going to start typing in the name of our task group test group as you can see here is my test group if you click on it you can see it brings in the emails that are within that contact group now what I was saying in the beginning whenever creating an email however if you have a large group of people and you do not want them to see everyone that's on the email simply add them to the BCC field and blind carbon copy them instead of putting them in the to field you can search the same way find a test group add and send. Now all the receivers of the email will not see everybody's email address when they receive it. This is a quick easy way to make groups that you send email to quite often. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave me a comment. And if you want to see any other tutorials in this realm, please let me know. Thank you and have a great night.